Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. Today we'll be making this ombre gold glitter cake decorated with cupcakes. I've started off with my cupcakes. These are tiny ones. You can use regular size ones like I did. I started off with the small ones and then decided mm, they're a little bit too small, so I made larger ones instead, but totally up to you the size. Bake off your cupcakes as per the directions. I um, made them from scratch, so they were at 180 degrees for 20 minutes. Here I have my cakes. They are store-bought ones, just to save on time. I've stuck it to my cake board with some buttercream, and now I'm filling in with more of that buttercream. I'll have the recipe linked in the description box or in the eye icon up top. I've used three cakes in total. And then I am crumb coating, trapping in any of those crumbs with the buttercream. Once it's all nicely covered, you can grab a frosting scraper and go around the sides to smooth it all out. Drag that top lip of frosting towards the middle. And then refrigerate your cake for 20 minutes so that the uh, frosting on the outside has time to set. Once your cupcakes are baked, you can cut them in half this way using a scissors to trim the very bottom or you can turn them upside down and just trim this way instead. Make sure to use a very sharp serrated knife. For the frosting, I've chosen purple. Just colored it with some purple gel food color. Starting with the darkest color at the very top and then going in with a medium purple in the center and then the lightest purple right at the base. Once your three colors have been applied, grab that frosting scraper and smooth everything out. The more times you travel around the cake, the more blended those three colors will become and the less lines you'll see separating the colors. Fill in any pockets as you go. And then when you're happy with the blend of the colors, you can take your spatula and drag that top lip of frosting towards the middle. You can wear protective gear if you like. This is glitter, uh, edible glitter by Rolcom that I have in a little spritzer bottle. I wear a mask and these <laughs> snow goggles because I wear contact lenses. This stuff becomes airborne, goes into your nose, goes into your eyes. It's just really annoying. So wear some protective gear if you want and just spritz all over the top until you're happy with the coverage. It's very, very easy. Onto the sides, I'm adding my cupcake, cupcake halves. I've got my buttercream just kind of applying it to the cut side and then sticking it to the cake. Once you've applied your first one, arrange the rest of them how you like it. Space them out as you need. And this way you know they're going to be perfectly spaced out when you stick them on. Apply some of that buttercream onto the cut side again, just sticking it nice and firmly onto the cake. And then take a 6B piping tip with white buttercream frosting or a color of your choice and create two dollops, the larger one to cover the surface of the cupcake and then a smaller one on top just to finish off the shape. Spritz the very top with some more of that glitter just for added effect and then take some Maltesers, toss them around in a Ziploc bag with your favorite colored edible luster dust. I have the gold one here and then I'm just sticking them to my cake. If they don't want to stick, you can add a little bit of buttercream behind the balls and then stick them on that way. It's a good idea to add your candles just after you pipe your frosting. I had to go out and buy them, so my frosting hardened in the fridge and I had to like really press them into the tops. But anyway, all is good. Still worked out. For the very top, I've added three cupcakes and just dolloping them to match the sides. And smoothly and easily sticking those candles into the very soft frosting. You can add some more Maltesers and edible glitter as you like. And your cake is complete. This is a really easy design and it's really effective. I love how the glitter is ombre as well, where it's super heaped at the very top and as it travels down the cake, it becomes more and more dispersed. The little bottle that I bought uh, was from My Dream Cake. It was only like 
four dollars I think and the glass of dust will cost you probably another eight dollars it's a really cheap and effective way to create this effect if you have an airbrush you could do it that way as well with airbrush color instead of glitter totally up to you thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this cake design and I'll see you in the next one